in PNG, the most common capital market, so the stock market and the bond market. Presently, the PNG capital market comprises of the primary market and the secondary market. The primary market is where new securities are issued and sold, and the secondary market, where already issued securities, are traded between investors. Since taking up office, the Minister for International Trade and Relations, Richard Maru, is pushing for major reforms over the next few months, which are critical to the Marape Rosa government as it sets out to grow the capital market of PNG as a key vehicle to domestic capital for critical investments in helping grow the economy of the country. We are in responsible now to market the country and look for investors from all across the world, across all sectors and subsectors. And our job the ministry is to market this country and bring in investment. If you look at the last three years, the only investments that come into the country is in the mining and petroleum space. PNG is not a country that is attracting investors. Prime Minister has not made a mistake in creating this department. This country needs serious investment. We need to grow the private sector so we can create jobs, create wealth for our citizens, and without investment, it ain't going to happen. The reforms will be broad and work has already started. The capital market in this country has not grown. In fact, it's regressed. Companies who have been listed, listing in pop stocks, have also delisted big time. The industry is not growing and we need to turn it around. And importantly, mobilize local capital. So that rather than looking all the time for foreign investment dollars, we must encourage people to save. And, and generate capital within the country so we can uh, fund a lot of the invest investment projects that we are looking at. The Security Commission Act is being reviewed with major changes to include the complete separation of board and management of the commission, where there will no longer be an executive chairman with the functions and powers to be defined clearly by the amended legislation in 2023. This is the first time we will have a board of the Security Commission of Papua New Guinea. It will no longer be a one-man operation, a one-man chairman, executive chairman. So there's no difference between the board and management. <coughs> so we've advertised globally to bring in a new board of no less than five commissioners who are going to be, will, will form the board of the Securities Commission. And under that arrangement, the board will be separate from the management. And we are now going to bring in amendments to the Security Commission Act by January, in the January sitting, so that the executive chairman's role will be done away with. According to Mr. Maru, the reforms are anticipated to make sure the PNG capital market is robust, agile and risk-free, able to secure and maintain investor confidence for capital formation. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.